Hi, welcome back to my channel. This is Hannah. And here I like to share about things that we're using in our homeschool and also healthy living tips for your home and your health um, on this channel. So if you find those things helpful, subscribe below and stick around and stay tuned for more. In today's video, I am going to do a mini flip through and go into why our family really loves Matthew C. Now I want to preface this to say if you're homeschooling or you're looking for um, math curriculum for your little ones, just know that curriculums in general should be serving the parents and the child, the student. Um, if you're using a math curriculum and you're frustrated, it may be the curriculum itself. <laughs> So even if it's Matthew C, don't be afraid to toss it out and try something new. I have no doubt that there are a lot of good math curriculums out there, but we really do love Matthew C, and I'm going to share about why we love it. And if you have any other questions about Matthew C, please place them in the comments. Or if you're also a Matthew C lover, we'd love to hear what part of Matthew C you love the most. Um, and put that in the comments. Okay, so the three main reasons that I love Matthew C is first of all, it is very easy to use for both the teacher and the student, which is a win-win. Um, basic lessons, nothing over complicated, no excessive work. So easy to use, number one. Number two, I love that it includes manipulatives so that you're getting a visual representation of the math that you're actually completing. And my, I have four kids, but the two that are school age will be in fourth grade and second grade. And I think it's even more important that at the young age, they get that visual representation and it's not just numbers on a paper, but it's actual visual mathematics, okay? And then the third reason it is it's student paced. I think that's really important because the different concepts, some might come easier to them and others, they might need a little more practice or more time. So it's really just student paced based on their needs. Now, before I give a little flip through of, um, this is Delta, which is the fourth book. Um, I just want to say that Matthew C doesn't go by like grade level. So Delta, I mean, technically it's like the fourth year, it's like fourth grade, um, but give or take them the time that they need to get through these because it will go right into pre-algebra and algebra and it depends on what grade that they'll hit that in whenever they're ready for that. So it's very student paced. But I first just kind of want to show you guys what the manipulatives are. So these have been passed down actually from my mother. These are the Matthew C manipulatives and they're not very organized right now. And you can see you have hundreds, tens, threes, fours, all the different numbers. So that's what they look like. And that is a really important part of the math. And even if you're not gonna look and get in getting the Matthew C curriculum, I think that these manipulatives themselves are available by themselves on the website. And they're really nice manipulatives that will hold up to the use of children. So we love the manipulatives. And the next thing that we really love about Matthew C is its simple format. So I'm going to do a quick brief um, flip through just so you can see what the workbook and the textbook look like along with the teacher's guide. So the kits that you get online actually come with the teacher's guide and DVD. I will preface this to say, you don't have to have a DVD player. I will get into this at the end, but they have a digital toolbox where we watch all of the lessons on, right on either my phone or laptop, whichever is accessible at the moment. Um, so I've actually never even opened up the DVDs. I feel like those are just a time of the past. So everything is digital, makes it super easy. Um, and personally, I've not really had to reference the teacher's guide yet, unless I just want to make sure a real brief how he's describing the lesson. But in these younger grades, I can simply pre-watch 
their new lesson on the digital toolbox. I'll understand how Steve Demi, who wrote the curriculum, is going to uh, demonstrate and teach the lesson. And then when they go to watch it, I already know how he's going to teach it, uh, which is important to me because I was homeschooled and I did do Saxon math primarily. So it is a little different um, methods doing the visual representation and whatnot. So it does come with an instructions manual and a DVD, but you can access all of it online, which is super convenient in this time and age. And then the student workbook and the student test booklet are the other things that come along with it. Now, my second daughter, she's in second grade, um, once you have invested in the bulk of the curriculum, like the manipulatives and then each grade level, all you're doing is basically buying her workbook test book, which is very reasonably cost. Um, and then you just can use it for all of your children. So I kind of was looking at that as a curriculum that would grow with us as a family so that I was really just purchasing it once and then could reuse it and reuse it. So um, I'm going to show you what these look like inside. Okay, so this is the fourth curriculum. This is Delta. Now I'm not going to show you anything that you can't also see online. If you go to the Matthew C website, you can actually get the first three lessons for free, even the digital toolboxes. So you can literally look at everything so you can get a really good feel for the plans. So this is just like, for example, lesson practice two. You can see how it's very clean and not colorful, which I like for my girls because then they don't have a distraction. So typical lesson plan for all these lower levels is um, some basic questions. Um, this is some division practice. And then he always has word problems at the end of the lesson. So basically it has three lessons and then it has three systematic reviews, which will take little bits of all the previous lessons and um, give you a review in these systematic reviews, along with word problems, which are really, really important for their practical understanding of mathematics. Okay, and then it always has an enrichment, which is just fun, it's fun math, right? It's either like a color by number, a puzzle, dot to dot, something fun, enrichment at the end of their lesson, and that's it. And then their test book, they have the standard like test after each lesson, but then they also have um, a unit test, usually three or four unit tests reviewing a couple different lessons, and then they'll have one final test. So that's what they are. They're very clean, very easy to use, and not, not over excessive. Okay, now when I did our curriculum haul a few, I think like a month ago, which I can link the video down below, um, some people had questions about what if your children need more practice. That is one of the best parts about Matthew C. If you go visit their website, you actually get a free digital toolbox that comes when you purchase the curriculum. And you can actually log in and make an account, like I said a moment ago, and get the first three lessons for free. And you can also take a placement test to see where your student will fall if you're moving from one curriculum to the next curriculum to make sure that they're placed in the right spot. But on the digital toolbox, the possibilities for extra practice are endless. You can do just like division practice, multiplication practice. You can specify to what number. Let's say your child needs practice on their sevens, uh, multiplied by sevens or multiplication by eight or something like that. You can just print those. Um, you can do more reviews and they have also digital manipulatives if you prefer those over these hard manipulatives. Um, so it's really great. It's a super accessible curriculum in terms of that as well. And both of my daughters, I have found really do well. And I would say they are definitely different strengths with each of them. And they are different types um, of learners. And I find that it has worked well for both of them, allowing them to make sure that they're mastering the concepts and not just memorizing the problems. So that's something that I really love about Matthew C. I think that it can work for many different students and parents, and it's just designed 
to appeal to a wide audience. Um, and it works really well. So hopefully that was helpful. I had a few um, questions about you know, really going through the curriculum as a flip through. So I wanted to make sure I do that because I know many of you are probably choosing your curriculum. So let me know below if this was helpful and subscribe to follow along with our homeschool journey. Bye.